This is our Encarcia system here at Applied Bionomics. We've had this system in place here for about 35 years. It originally was developed and uh, we're basically copying the recipe that was done in the 1930s in England. Uh, it's a wonderful parasite. It's infected by a bacteria called Wolbachia, which is a fairly common uh, uh, gut bacteria in the insect world which allows parthenogenesis. So most people would think of bacteria as being a negative. In this case, it allows the, the, uh, uh, the entire population to be 100% female. And that makes it a very, very effective parasite compared to some of the other parasites, which are 50-50 sex ratios. So you're only looking at about half of the uh, adults that are on the card can actually do the parasitizing. So Encarci is 100% a parasite and it's very, very effective. It's very nice. One of the things we discovered with this product was that if you don't cold store it, they, have, uh, they maintain their entire searching capability. And even though it's a tiny wasp, they're able to fly for distances of well over 50 meters from one release point. So we're able to put in much less into a greenhouse and get much better penetration and searching ability. The other thing, of course, is the fecundity and the uh, hardiness of these wasps are declined as they're stored. So over the years, Applied has basically worked through their entire system and eliminated refrigeration and refrigeration storage was stopped about five years ago with the Encarcia product that we sell now. Uh, we aim for uh, a density on these stock plants here of about two wasps per square centimeter. Our objective is to parasitize around 80% of the whitefly scale. Encarcia parasitizes the third instar which is the first stage that's readily seen by the naked eye. What they do is they basically drum on the uh, scale to see if it's already been compromised, either been parasitized or host fed on. If it's intact, they have a choice. They can pierce it and suck the juice out, which is host feeding, or they can pierce it and inject the egg using their egg depositor, which is basically in place of the stinger that we know from a lot of the other wasps that we're more familiar with. Very, very powerful parasite. Once it establishes, it'll actually build up in the population. On rapid, uh, rapidly pruned plants like uh, tomato, they have to be repeatedly applied in order to keep up because the leaves are being taken away before you can get the parasitism accomplished. But on long-term plants, like a lot of the perennial plants, uh, once you get the Encarcia established, you can basically let them cycle and they will build on their own. This product has been uh, done on this card for quite a few years. The card is uh, usually dated. This one I didn't date because I just grabbed our stock cards with the uh, week number so, so that you know what you're getting when you're putting them on your crop. Each tag has 100 cards. So every strip is uh, 10 strips. So you end up with 1,000. And this will do, in some cases, up to an acre of prevention. So if we're putting this into, uh, for example, clean tomatoes, uh, we will only put one or maybe at the most two strips per acre and we'll be able to accomplish complete uh, prevention because of the uh, distrib distribution they'll make on the searching behavior because they're fresh. So, uh, cut. 